Hi folks, it's Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today I'm showing you around a 2013 Kia Picanto that we've just taken in part exchange. Uh, very clean little car. I mean, it's no secret that at the moment, Kia and their sister company, Hyundai, are making some of the nicest cars on the road and certainly some of the best value, best quality um, sort of day-to-day -day cars. The Picanto is one of the lower entry models uh, in their range. Um, this one here is a 2013, it's done 115,000 miles, so it's done a fair mileage for its age, but it's, it's still in very good condition. I've just taken it for a, a very long drive because we've brought this car uh, 220 miles back from its original home on the East Coast, right the way back here to South Wales. Um, so plenty of time to get acquainted with the car and it drove beautifully all the way. Um, I've just had it quickly washed off now, it hasn't gone through our workshop yet, so you're seeing it as it's coming to us from the previous owner, more or less, just having washed the road dirt off it. Um, these are great value cars. And even after 115,000 miles, this little 2013 car still feels really solid, still really good to drive. Um, it's coming up now for 10 years old, but it still feels quite a modern package. It's got air conditioning on it, power steering's nice and light on it, and it also, probably most interestingly on this particular car um, it's got free road tax that's not something that you would get if this were being made today uh, because the emissions laws now have changed but back in 2013 very low emission cars that were under 100 grams per kilometer of co2 were free tax and this is one of those cars it's banned a tax so that's a massive uh, incentive i think if you're looking to buy a car for under four thousand pounds small car Having that free road tax is going to be a massive incentive to you, a massive saving. Very good on fuel, this car as well. We put £43 of fuel in it. We drove it 220 miles and it's still got just under half of that fuel left in it. So um, that's pretty good going, really. It's obviously just using just over £20 to have done uh, 220 miles, which is pretty phenomenal. Admittedly, a lot of that was motorway driving, but... Um, still, there's not many cars I can think of that would actually do that in, uh, in sort of day-to-day -day terms. So, um, great things about a Picanto. Well, it's very small. Uh, I think along the lines of it's the same size as a Ford Ka, a uh, Citroen C1, Peugeot 107, that sort of thing. Um, it's a five-door, though. Very practical in that sense. It's got plenty of space inside it as well. A bit more roomy than a C1. Um, certainly a lot more spacious than a Ka. Um, and being a Hyundai as well, it's very good quality. Now these, these Korean cars really are very much like the Toyotas and the Hondas were of the 90s. Very, very robust, very strong cars, well engineered and designed to do a job. They're not a car that has got a huge amount of flair, admittedly. They're a car though that you can rely on every day. And if you're buying a small five-door car, I think that's probably what you're looking for. Um, this particular one, I will say, has got a couple of little marks. Look, there's a little mark there on it. Um, we're going to get that done for the new owner before it goes anywhere. I have literally just brought this car in, so um, please excuse little marks like that. They are nothing to worry about. And certainly don't be put off by that. It needs a little bit of a polish as well. A little bit of a discoloration there on that corner, but I think that will just come out with a mop and a polish, which we'll be doing. And again, another little mark by here. I guess it's, it's very minor, but we will just touch it in. We won't be respraying the car. It doesn't really warrant doing that anyway. You notice that it has uh, wheel trims on it. These are not alloy wheels. They are just trims. But on this price range car, that's probably an advantage. They're easy to replace uh, if one gets scuffed. I mean, this is a city car, so it's a car that you would be wanting to slot into tight spaces, etc. So not having the worry of uh, expensive alloy wheels to tarnish. It's sometimes an advantage, in actual fact, on this type of car. And let me just see what, show you what you get for your money. You will notice that it was supplied by Wessex Garages. They've still got their PDI stickers on it. That's all very good. It's nice to see things like this. Obviously, Wessex Garages. It's actually our local Nissan dealer. Somehow this car ended up on the east coast of England, and we've had to drive it, drive it back here. But um, obviously, that's from the previous owner. Kia did have a seven-year warranty on these cars. Obviously, it's over seven years old now. But it just goes to show the, the sort of um, the, the confidence that the Kia has in their product, that they offer a seven-year guarantee, a seven-year warranty on a car. 
which is the longest of any manufacturer. So there's your boot. Okay, it's reasonably deep. Obviously, it's not the hugest uh, of, of areas, but it's split fold seats on it. That's very practical. It's got a proper parcel shelf as well, which I like. It does feel a little bit more like a full size car than the one that you get in a C1. It's also got a full proper tailgate rather than just the glass area going up. Um, it also has a reassuring FUD when I shut it. For this sort of price range car, little things like that do make a big difference, I think. In the back, another big advantage over the KA, the C1, or the 107, is that this car is a five-seater. So you've got three inertia seat belts in the back of it, and you've also got Isofix anchorage points for car seats. So if you have got a small family, you know, you want a, a small family car, this is ideal for that. So if you've got a second car, but you still want to be able to take the whole family out in it, this is a perfect car for that. So the Anisofix points as well are absolute godsend if you have got car seats or are thinking of getting some in the future. Okay, moving on to the front. Well specced, well laid out. It's got side airbags in the seats as well, which are great as a safety uh, feature on this sort of size car. That's not something you see on, a, on every one. Let's just jump in behind the wheel. and oh, so I'm shutting probably I've got my seatbelt trapped in the door doesn't matter let's just show you the inside first decent stereo system on it it's um for some reason it's got a DAB aerial in it so someone's changed the radio at some point but this is the original one they've put back in uh, it hasn't got DAB on this radio so it's just a standard stereo but it's got FM it's got a CD player and uh it does the job, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice, simple layout and it's easy to use. Um, I've also got, though, um, air conditioning on this model. That's not something that you get on all of these Picantos, so it's something that's worth having a look for if you're looking at a Picanto. It does, I think, make the car a little bit uh, more desirable. It's quite a stylish interior. Obviously, we're not expecting um, Range Rover Vogue levels of comfort in here because it's a small car but it's, it's nicely trimmed. The plastics do feel pretty good quality. The controls on it are reassuringly positive when you use them. They don't feel flimsy at all, and they're easy to use. I mean, it's nice and simple, hot and cold. You've got the fan there and you've got the direction there. I like that. It's nice and easy um, and simple to use. It's a five-speed manual gearbox. The headlights are on the stalk. The wipers are where you would want them normally. It's actually a very easy layout. Uh, it's pretty much a standard sort of layout across uh, these cars. I like that. The steering wheel is quite stylish. I thought it was a three spoke at first, but there is actually a gap there. This is a nice little two spoke wheel, but it does feel quite vaguely sporty, do I, do I dare say. I like the fact it's the two tone design as well. So that's quite cool. Now, just start the car up quickly for you. So it's done 115,000 miles, as you can hopefully see by there, if I zoom into that. And just start it up briefly for you. And we'll give it a quick rev. <laughs> These little three-cylinder engines have got quite a sporty, raspy sound to them, and I like that. Um, it's actually a quieter engine than you get, I think, in the in the 107 C1s. I, I do think this engine in the, in the Kia is a lot smoother and a lot quieter. It's still got that little three-cylinder sort of rasp to it, if you rev it, but um, when you're behind the wheel of it, it's very quiet. And, and we did 220 miles in this car yesterday, so believe me, we've, we've tested this on uh, a good motorway journey and it was very comfortable. It, um, it does everything really well. And the other great thing about this car is that it's done 115,000 miles and there's barely any wear in it. The wheel on it is, you know, still feels pretty new. The steering's really positive. I'm looking at things like the gear gate. So if this was a Fiat or a, or even a Citroen, I think that would have worn away by now. It's perfect. There's not even a there's not even a mark on it on this. It hasn't worn at all. These cars, these Kias and Hyundai's, are very very good quality. If you're looking at um, buying a traditional sort of French, European, or, or, or you know sort of Ford Vauxhall, have a look at the the options from Hyundai and Kia as well. 
because you'll be surprised uh, how good they are and how sort of price positive they are as well. So um, that's my top tip really if you're looking at buying anything. If you're looking at buying a small five door car, the Picanto has got to be top of your list because it's got everything on it. Um, and it's it's a, also one of the cheaper options. These, it's cheaper than a Fiat 500. It's got twice as many doors and um, better spec really. And it's a lot better put together, you know, a lot better. And you know, a Fiat 500 at this mileage would not feel as tight as this little Picanto does. This car's tight as a drum, which really is what you want to be looking at in this price range. So, oh, just to add, I've actually got two proper cup holders in that. Something that I don't get in some executive cars. And I've even got an extra cup holder in the door bin. It's big enough to take a bottle. Plenty of storage space as well. It's a little bit like a TARDIS in there. Oh, one other thing, there is a little crease by here on the car. There's a dent on the other side, very similar. It's like matching as if someone's opened a door on both sides of it. And that's not uncommon on this sort of age car, and especially cars that are like this designed to do the supermarket run. But we will be having those removed. We have a chap who comes around here and does paintless dent removal. So if you're looking to buy this particular car, those will be sorted out. Um, well, what more can I say? I like the Picanto. I think it's a nice, honest, car i think this particular one of 2013 is a good one to show on this video just because um they're all going to look nice at 40,000 miles this one's done 115k and i think it still looks really good and it still drives as well as as a 40,000 mile car so that says a lot to me and that comes says testament as well to the quality of these cars um certainly one that i would be interested in buying if i were in the market for a small car or a first car for someone and the free tax is a massive boon to you insurance is cheap and this one's doing well over 50 to the gallon so pretty uh, pretty much ticks all the boxes in this in this sort of category of car if this particular one is of interest to you obviously it's available and we are selling it so give me a call my name is peter and my number is 07932 873 646 i'll be happy to assist you happy to take your old car and part exchange and i can even arrange delivery of this fantastic little kia uh, anywhere in the UK. So give us a call. That number one more time is 07932 873 646. And of course, please give us a like, please give us a share, and subscribe to our channel. You should see a link on the screen now to subscribe. Hit the link. Make my day. Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.